from me to the comic book man. My name is Bing Chen. Sitting next to me is the mighty, the amazing, the Mike Zapsic. Say hello, Mike. So, thanks for coming out today. This, is it morning? And I'm still on East Coast time, so. You are you tired. You went to bed at fucking 8 o'clock last night. <laughs> Me and Brian were freaking rocking out to the Black Eyed Peas and like, Flavor okay, Flav. We were like, where's Mike? He went to bed. This genius ran a half marathon this morning. 5K, so. ran 5K. <laughs> I just shake my head when I look at Ning. I'm like, oh, Yeah, who's Jesus. this guy next to you? Oh, I got a, are you passing the baton to me? I am. Schmuck. I am. Um, sitting to my right is the ever-loving Brian Johnson. <laughs> Brian, do not clap for yourself. Put your goddamn hands together for me. <laughs> my nephew leaves <laughs> Even your family doesn't love you. Wow. No, no it's true. He's, he's not wrong. Did you guys enjoy that song that I saw comics stole from Tell Steve DVD? It's something, huh? It, it I'm not kidding around, they stole it. Woo! Yeah! It, it wasn't outright theft. When we started I Sell Comics, we were going to change it to We Sell Comics, so it wouldn't be an outright theft. And Kevin was like, no, you can't. You can't call it We Sell Comics. It's called I Sell Comics, or else you're off the network. So, so we kept oh. it. If only you had made a different decision, everyone would be happier for it. <laughs> we got a lot of love, man. I know you'd say no one listens, but... Yeah. There no, I listen. I, I listen. listen. I, I gotta keep, I listen. Yeah, I listen to both of your guys' shows. I have to keep really? tabs on you. How am I gonna know what to make fun of you about if I don't keep up with you? It's a good Very point. true. That's a good point. Oh, you're like Howard Stern. It's like uh, the people who like him listen for like an hour. The people who don't like him listen for two hours. Right. Yeah. It's awesome. All right. What is up? This empty room. I know, seriously. Can't you all just like come up and like fill up the two? No, I don't know. This is LA, man. No one wants to make contact with other people. Well, couldn't they have brought in like homeless people to fill the place up? <laughs> what do you mean? Oh. It's a sore subject. There are like three people out there, they're like, they, they grabbed me out of the, the queue outside. I'd really rather have the religious freaks outside come in and, you know, just cast us all into damnation. <laughs> You ever thought, thought about going back at them, like, you know, trying to drown them out or anything? Like, how would you drown them out? So if someone gets you a megaphone, and you, you, you were, you're allowed to drown them out, what would you do? Oh, uh, God. Kiss them? That's what I did last year. Shut them right the hell up, so. What's the point? Do you, think they, do you think you've won them over after arguing with them? Because I, you may be good at arguing, but I don't think you do. You don't think they went over one person? It's always like the same two, like, I think they're like Filipino guys or something, right? It's the same two Filipino guys who are like, you're gonna burn in hell, and everyone's like, and then they just keep walking. It would be demoralizing if year after year people like whatever do. Like, they don't give a shit. But they go home, those guys go home thinking like, a bunch of morons, they're going to hell, they don't even care. I mean, they're dressing like Harley Quinn, for Christ's sake. Don't they know that's not religious? They're against everything, these guys. Except Jesus. That guy, there for. Uh, we have a couple mics over here. You can ask us anything. Please feel free. Oh, you're, you're saying this is a, a live AMA with Ming Chen? And What's an AMA? Is that Alcoholics and Oh, AMA. Okay. A okay. I, uh, isn't that the American Medical Association? <laughs> Right, yeah, that's all I have right. a question for you, Ming. Why did you register the last time you moved into a new neighborhood? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was legally bonded to you. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, look at them all lining up for uh, questions. questions. Do you guys have any questions? Oh, hey, if you listen to Tell Them Steve Dave, this is my brother right here, the official Tell Them Steve Dave town psychiatrist. Say hello to everyone. Come on. You know you like Eric attention. Johnson, everybody. Eric Johnson in the house. <laughs> and by Eric Johnson's definitions, you're all sociopaths if you listen to Tell Him Steve Dave. People love you, Dave. You're a... You have no idea. He's going to start analyzing you when you will know. Welcome to the Tell Him Steve Dave Whack Pack. It's a, it's a weird place to be. So nobody has questions, huh? Oh, you want to shout it? Okay. What is your opinion on the current state of Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Not only are you too lazy to get up and ask that silly ass question, but 
ministry. You know he's not comments. even going to answer it. None and I'm going to make fun of anything Ming says. So, so go ahead, answer it. No, no. Ask a real question. Not anything about comics, though. <laughs> it's ask Ming anything, and you're like, what is your opinion on this? A guy who does a half-assed podcast that stole their theme song from a better podcast. <laughs> that's who you're going to advice for? Come on. Silly. Mike Zapsack, do you have an opinion on the current state of Marvel Comics? Of Marvel Comics? Yeah. Like, what, do they suck? <laughs> they suck. Are we seriously still for, for to ahead with this question? <laughs> no! No. Actually, Nobody's Nick kept it going. But... Nobody cares. Let's ask something good. Like, what did Mike do last night? Why is he so tired? <laughs> <laughs> I know, why, yeah, what were you doing last night? What did you... It's called sleeping, man. Why are you so tired? Ah, oh, dude. That's it. That you went to bed. Yeah. Like you swear on the life of your children. That's all you did. Yeah. You didn't like talk to yourself or anything. No. Yeah. Did you get your tissue. money's worth out of the tissue box? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's free tissue. It was toilet paper roll, and thank you. Yes. Why did I see that? That's what tissue? they do in prison, right? They they use a toilet paper roll. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where do you think I learned it from? <laughs> I saw the maid pushing a whole cart and like loaded with like those little bottles of lotion toward your room. Like what was that all about? And Mike stepped out in the road like, <laughs> <laughs> like a long cigarette holder and shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm on the well, continental. Oh, exactly. exactly. And we didn't know who you were talking about. Oh, here we go. We have a young lady here with a question. Fire oh, away. this should be good. Um, it's a non-comic book related question. Is Thank that okay? Oh, no. For Brian. Will you and Walt be playing Steve David fanboy in the James Silent at Bob reboot? No. Oh, I'm sorry, it's for Brian. No. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't, I don't know. Kevin is a... Can you Kevin make it loves, happen? Kevin please? loves the announcements and stuff. He loves to be like, this is what I'm doing. And then actually doing it suddenly becomes secondary because he likes to, <laughs> he likes to announce shit so much. So I don't know. I don't even know when Jay and Bob is, is going to get made. So. Unless it's shit that nobody wants to see anyway. And then, then he's like, let's go forward with this. And, uh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was just thinking of something else and then I heard like you said. <laughs> what are you implying here, my Zapsack? What are you implying here? I what think I... What are you speaking of? I'm burning bridges over yeah. here. <laughs> Kevin, I'm sorry. I really am. This is... Are you backing him up now? Are you no, I'm backing... Oh, am I backing off that? <laughs> if it's gonna get me fired? Shit, yeah. yeah. Oh my god. This Do I like, look stupid? This is like the time we met an astronaut. We did a count of Houston. He was trying to tell the astronaut that we didn't land on the moon. And the astronaut was pissed. <laughs> <laughs> and the, he got pissed. He's but like, he didn't have any, he, he had no proof. I'm like, did you walk on the moon? He's like, no. Right. I'm like, well, then how can anything else not be suspect? This is a man who reached low Earth orbit, like for real. This is a man who's actually been in space, and you tried to tell him we didn't land on the moon. Like, if all he did was just go on that thing that spins around, yeah, that would be that's cool. amazing to yeah. me, because I would throw up in like two seconds, yeah. but like those guys spin for like an hour. Yeah, I love that. He looked straight up Mike right there. He was, he was like, oh, I assure you, we've been on the moon, sir. Yeah. Mike's like, listen, I'm on a reality show. I yeah. think I know a little something about the moon. <laughs> I have it on good authority, Walt Flanagan, that we've you, never been on the moon. Do you really think we've never been on the moon? Did you watch Capricorn 1 that much? That you don't think we've been on the moon? Yeah, I'm still a member of the O.J. Simpson fan club. That's only because I'm too lazy to, to quit. So. Okay. I'm just making sure. Your question, sir. So yesterday, Kevin hosted a tribute to Adam West. What would you guys like to say about West in the 60s Batman show? You think any of us are going to say it better than Kevin did? Because we're not. <laughs> Why would you we guys try it? About Adam West? You want these guys to add their thoughts to Kevin's as far as the Adam West memorial? Yeah, are you, are you currently high? <laughs> nah. No? What, uh, what? You, you're going to piss in a cup for us? <laughs> no. He's not going to test that piss either. You don't want to know what he's going to do with that. <laughs> I, um, I, I give all my piss to Ming, so I... Yeah. We, um, we had Adam West on the show a couple seasons ago. We raised the fat movie over to the Black Beauty with him. And he, he was great. They were like, we, you only have three hours with him, and uh, you, can't, you can't screw around three hours and he's out. And he, he was great. Sounds like, it sounds like when you go to Mike's pimp. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Dude, could, that costs extra, man. You have three hours with him, they're screwing around, it's yeah. gonna be 15 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> it was cool though, he, like, he was joking around with us, like, he, was real, he was really cool, and the episode turned out really great. Dude, I can't even make minimum wage with you? Holy shit! After the shit you said about Kevin, you're gonna be one of those homeless people you 
mentioned earlier. <laughs> Filling up these seats next year. No, actually next year I'm going to be out there spinning that sign that you're all going to hell. But up until that point with uh, where, he came, where he came on the show, Mike hated him because he wouldn't shake his hand and it kind of comic Hated him West? Yeah. No, I didn't. Wouldn't shake his hand. I didn't hate him. I, I hated his manager. His manager was a dick. And boy, am I glad he's dead. Not Adam. I'm sorry that Adam's gone. Somebody but... please take that out of context. Yeah. <laughs> and tweet it. Comic book nerd. <laughs> I get it. Says unseemly shit. <laughs> Your, uh, your question. Oh, oh, like that's not the first time that's happened. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, if you guys could cosplay as anything, what would you cosplay as? We can cosplay. You know that's possible, right? Yeah. We can cosplay as anything. Money's no object. It is. What can I cosplay as? <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure he does that every day. <laughs> he's, he's, he's trying to back I've away from it. for over 49 years that I can, so you're wrong, sir. I can cosplay as anything. No. Simmer down over there. <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> uh, what would you cosplay as, me? I am, um, I, I mean, this is not a big stretch. But I was wanting to do the, the data outfit from Goonies, like with the big boxing glove that comes out of the coat. I'm just not technically uh, that good at like being like making that. But I, like, I, I love I love that dude who played short round the data from the movies. And um, the best thing about going to cons, I got to meet him about two years ago. I was at a con, and you know I was like I was all slobbering over him. I was like, oh man, I loved you. Like you were you were so great when I was. What did your pimp have to say about that? No, he he, he smacked me down. Yeah. But um, he was real nice. He's like, hey man, you like um, what? You pimp slapped him? Oh. oh. No, I was talking to him, and he was like, hey, I thought this was an interesting story. I'm gonna go back to paying no attention. Yeah. So, so I was, uh, he was like, hey, you're from Jersey, right? I live in LA, like, next time you're out here, we should have dinner. And I was like, oh, my mind was blowing up. I was like, oh man, that'd be awesome. But I, I thought he was just talking. But mm -hmm. the next time I was in LA, I texted him, and we, we went and had dinner at a Chinese restaurant. <laughs> Nobody would ever expect that. No. <laughs> Like, I love that kid. Like, back then, when, like, Temple of Doom and all that came out, there were no Asians on, in anything, much less an Asian kid who could hold, it, hold his own, like, against Harrison Ford. And then, like, 20 years later... Cut to 2017, where a guy who looks like an Asian kid can't hold his own against <laughs> a fat idiot and his friend Walt. <laughs> Time no change. freaking way. Everybody, please welcome Daryl McDaniel, DMC. You can all leave now. In the house. Give them a round of applause because you know. 
There are a lot of teams in the world. Run DMC, Public Enemy, the New York Giants, the New York Jets, the Avengers, the Justice League. But there's not one team in comparison to the immortal comic book men. You guys don't look like you're sold. <laughs> Are you saying DMC is wrong? The dude's a legend. Come on. What do you guys listen to? What kind of music? Uh, King Diamond. You listen to King Diamond? Slayer! Do you listen to music at all? Is this guy doing things for you? Can you hear me? <laughs> dude, you can't even convince your family, man. What's going on? <laughs> No, seriously, Unky Bry's cool! Yeah, he's cool. <laughs> super cool. Uh, have you ever seen these kind of booth of 1305? Yes, I just yeah. stopped by to show these guys love, because think about it. You must be totally rad and incredible and awesome if your show gets to come on after The Walking Dead. <laughs> think about that. You know, it's, 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 it's like, you know, when, when, it, when it comes to being placed somewhere, like, nobody in the history of music wants to go on after me. <laughs> and it's been like that for the last 35 years. But the comic, think about that. They are headlined. I'm going I'm to just leave with this, this, this thing so y'all can realize how awesome they are. They are headlining The Walking Dead. <laughs> Enough said. <laughs> I was like, I was in a Japanese fetish porn. I would 
just like, somebody threw up and it just rained down on me. And it wasn't sexy at all like in a Japanese fetish point of view. So. Yeah, I can attest to that. One time I was giving him a ride and he got sick. And I'm driving, he rolls down the window and pukes all over the street as I'm driving. And then it wasn't even my car, it was my wife's car. So the next day she's like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, I, I was such an asshole, I didn't even take it to the car wash to get it clean. I'm like, eh. So I baked in the hot sun for like two days. <laughs> what a guy. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, sorry. Is it any wonder he's like husband of the year? Yeah. Yeah, that, that was bad sushi. I, I, yeah. I, 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 bad Miami sushi, everybody. Don't, yeah, don't do it. Thank so you no very much. Part. Your question. Um, I used to work retail, and one of the best things to do is, you know, share our horror stories of, like, terrible customers. So I would love to hear some really strange or terrible customers you all had to deal with. At the store? Or At the is, store or these real life? Are we on the like, yeah. prostitution <laughs> thing? <laughs> yeah, seriously. I'll bring my pimp up, and he can... You know, give them more detail. Tell you what to say. <laughs> what, uh, what characters come in the store like? Um, well, there's a guy who pissed all over the bathroom floor because he was so drunk, right? Yeah, and that's a regular. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't even ashamed. It wasn't like the last time he came in, or he was doing it out of like malice. No. He just was like, he drank too much and he pissed on the floor. And he's like, yeah. see you next week. <laughs> <laughs> we got to call the next day because he's like, hey, can I use your bathroom? And I'm like, sure. And so he went out and it's literally six feet away from the exit door to the urinal. I mean, six steps. And couldn't even make it there, so he just pissed into a door. I guess, because I didn't clean it up. Didn't he come back in and he was like, Walter? And Walt's like, what? He's like, Walter, I missed. Yeah, he, he actually he called the next day. He's like, I'm so sorry I left a mess in your bathroom. I'm like, it's not our bathroom bill, but thanks for the heads up. And I never heard anything from our next door neighbors. They probably figured it was one of their customers. So everybody's I mean, happy. Retail sucks. So isn't every interaction with a customer a horror story? That's the way I look at it. Yeah. Right? <coughs> Luckily, I don't work retail anymore. Yeah. What do you do now? Uh, I am a set dresser. You're a seat filler. You're almost. She's a pimp. I'm a pimp. You know, I got my, my girl right there. That boy. Thank yeah. you. I mean, you should be working right now. Like, what are you doing here? Yeah. Why isn't he out on the stroll? This is outrageous. Yeah. Are you kidding me? It's my lunch break, so he's up on my back. Thank you. Thank you. Questions, sir? Okay, yeah, um, I actually have two questions. Uh, first off, uh, could you guys talk about uh, what it was like to work with uh, Robert England on this season? And uh, secondly, what's it going to take to get Walt out here? What's it going to take to get Walt out here? Yeah. Uh, five day train ride. Or teleportation yeah. to the invention. That'd be good. Or yeah, like Walt doesn't a, fly. Or like a necessary heart transplant that they can only do here. Although I still never come. Okay. So I'll be right back. My pimp is on the phone. My tabs are good. What a professional. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, yeah, I like, uh, we got our own Funko Pop figures and they did the whole launch up in, in near Seattle, Washington. Like, he wouldn't even fly over that. Oh, God. Why? Because he's he a pussy. Why won't anyone yeah. fly? <laughs> Why. Yeah, he's a big foot. Did, did I hear this right? Like, he doesn't believe in the physics of flight? That's like part well, of it. But isn't it like the, the physics of flight actually shouldn't work, but yeah. somehow they do, right? So maybe that's why. I just can't believe that he thinks he's a better driver than this guy is a pilot. Yeah. Because that's not true. I've seen, I've driven with him recently. He sucks. He, he's an old man who drives like way too slow in the fast lane and won't get over. Yeah. He's awful. And I. I no, nah, I don't think he's a flat. <laughs> but like the, the couple times we've come out to LA, and I mean like three or four times, I've driven across the country with him every time. And I'm like, statistically, you know we're way more likely to die, like especially with him behind the wheel. But by like day two, he would be like, oh, this is taking so long. I'm like, fuck, you <laughs> would have been there two days ago if you had a goddamn yeah. plane. We could have been home nice. like in four hours, not like yeah. 14 days. It's crazy, because the only thing you have the less time you want to spend in the car, so you like, I guess we'll do like three hours today, so it takes like two weeks to get out of there. <laughs> oh my god, I can't stand being in the car. Oh, you asked about Robert England now. Um, you know what I liked about Robert England was, well, first it's Freddie, so that's that's cool. But, um, yay Freddie. Um, but my niece Sage uh, came down that day to see him, and I got a picture of her, and like she had the glove on, and, and Robert. It was nice enough to take the picture with her. And to me, 
I'm like, that's, as like, an uncle, that, I feel like that's a cool thing to be able to do, because like, mostly my dad just like smacked me around. I didn't see any horror icons as a kid, so, if I can do that for him, like, that's, like, to me, it's cool. Like, we went to, this has nothing to do with Robert England, we were in Atlantic City and in Washington, two different cons, and Sage was with me, and we went to the green room to get lunch, and two times Shatner was in the green room, and who notoriously does not want you to talk to him, just texts and shit, and she went down, and she just went and sat down next to him, and he, and he talked to her. Both times, super nice to her. I just, like, stood away, because I'm like, fuck that Shatner. <laughs> so, so, I just... Was what a great uncle, uncle right? <laughs> I just like slipped out the back. I'm like, she shot this problem now. <laughs> I just laughed because the two times Mike tried to be like, fuck off. Man. <laughs> yeah, man, you should pretend you had Down syndrome. <laughs> it was, what? That's not something you're supposed to say. <laughs> yeah, I've known him for years. I have no barometer for that either. That's, so. not, that's not something people say anymore. Okay. Um, yeah, but it's, it's cool to like just watch her interact with these people, having absolutely. Like, she cares even less than I do, if, you, if that's possible. You know, so that's, I like that. Yeah, I just thought he was cool. He was willing to go along with our, our shenanigans, as you'll see tonight. That's the episode that airs tonight. And, um, yeah, he's just a fun guy. He's a cool dude. He, he made that character. So, like, it's so him. And, uh, yeah, I was just, he was, he, he, just watch tonight. Tonight yeah. I heard that at AMC after The Walking Dead. We're actually, um, he was talking to us about, um, like, Mark Hamill was his roommate, like, sort of. So he was telling us stories about that, which is pretty cool. Um, that's cool. What was the second part of your question? Oh, uh, uh, that's, uh, that, like, is Walt never going to... Oh, Walt. Well, yeah, yeah. So, no, yeah. Walt will never. <laughs> no, sorry. Yeah, we'll sorry. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. So um, my pimp said that I can have a full hour for lunch, so thank you. Thank you for your indulgence, folks. Um, my question, um, since your show started, what's the most coolest or surreal experience you guys have uh, had? most surreal experience? I'm thinking like stuff like having a pop figure made of yourself and... Are you asking if we crazy. drop shrooms on set? <laughs> I dropped shrooms yeah. since like the first three seasons, but no shrooms. I gotta keep my head straight, you know. <laughs> I, Mike, what's it like having your own Funko pop figure? It, it is very surreal. That's, But to be honest with you, that's not the most surreal. I think Adam West being in the Batmobile, but like riding shotgun, was that was pretty him. surreal. That was uh, like really weird, it's like, holy crap. Or meeting Lindsey Wagner, because I mean, who didn't have a crush on Lindsey Wagner growing up? Who's like, anyone you know, who's I was not gonna our say, age. Who's, <laughs> who's not under the age of like, you boys can't get enough of Lindsey Wagner, right? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, Lindsey who? <laughs> who does he play for? We, uh, we saw Lindsay Wagner at a con like five months ago, and uh, we didn't know if she would remember it. Like, you know, they come in for one day and they go out, and so they didn't even watch her own episode. But she got into the con, she raced over it. She was like, my comic book men are here, and like hugged us and everything. She's like, she pointed out all three of us, as me, Brian, and Walt, said, we're going out to dinner tonight. And um, <laughs> I guess you didn't go out to dinner. I didn't go out to dinner at Walt and I, I think we went to Red Robin or something. <laughs> <laughs> you, you and Walt went to dinner together, right? Yeah, like, why'd you skip out on the Lindsay Wagner dinner? Because Walt's not going to go to that, so we have to go to like Bob Evans or Red Robin, right? It's like one of the like Shoney some piece of shit, like... You don't think that you think Lindsay Wagner's too good for Shoney's? I don't know. Yes. She was like, like all, all you can eat shrimp. Is there all you can eat shrimp? At Shoney's, yeah. Uh, or Golden Crow with a chocolate yeah. fountain. Can shit. you imagine Lindsay Wagner by the chocolate fountain? <laughs> Absolutely not. I, I would like to see... In retrospect, I would have liked to see Lindsay Wagner just like shoveling shrimp into her mouth without, <laughs> without even peeling them. Yeah, would, would you imagine the, the sound in your head like, like uh, and she's like, yeah. like I'm eating shrimp? She's like, I hear I'm bringing more shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> I would have loved to have seen that, you and Walt, as the, at dinner with Lindsay Wagner. So the only person who went was me. So I went there, she had her entourage, I brought a couple people. And uh, yeah, it was fun, but it would have been funner with you guys there. Yeah, probably fun. <laughs> What's your question, Ethan? You got none? I'll talk about Rick and Morty. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. Who was a celebrity or icon that's walked into the store organically that's happened like, that just kind of walked in off the street? Probably Ming Chen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, celebrities, I don't think, uh, well, Ace Freely walked in. Yeah, but he yeah, was cool, though. No, he was smoking a cigarette. 
He walked in smoking a cigarette, looked around, and I'm like, what like the hell are you doing? He's really perpetually looks like he just got hit by a car. <laughs> <laughs> or, or he escaped from rehab. So But it's it's like people live like people live in that area like John Stewart, uh, Bon Jovi, Sweet Springsteen. So like those guys would come around sometimes. Yeah, or uh, what's his name? Kevin Smith. Skid Row, <laughs> Skid Row dude. Uh, oh, Sebastian, Sebastian Bob. Bob. So I like that guy, but I've never seen someone turn it on and off. Well, maybe Walt Flanagan, but turn it on and off like that guy does. Where like if there's a if there's a camera on, him, yeah, boom, he's like, hey man, and he's like rock star guy. And then when the camera goes off, he's like scolding his kid for like trying to buy two toys instead of one. Like, <laughs> like, like, a, like a regular dad. It's, it's, it's weird. I had no idea who, who Sebastian Bach was. He came in and I was trying to fix this statue, and he kept touching it. I said, hey dude, don't touch that. And he's like. Skulked out. Oh, I'm just a son of a bitch. You yelled at Sebastian Bach? Oh, wait, what the word? I think we were recording it. I think it was Sebastian yeah. Bach that thought I was Alan Moore. Yeah. Even, even after I told him I was not Alan Moore, it was when my hair was longer. And he's like, hey, man, I saw you on the show. We're recording on the podcast. And he's like, telling me he likes my comics and shit. But I'm like, you know me. Like, what are you talking about? Like, we've met countless times. Yeah. But he thought I was Alan Moore and left the store. I'm convinced that I was not Alan. Right. After yeah. we told him, there was, was anything else I could say to convince the guy. You had no English accent. You know nothing about the Watchmen, but you know. I didn't discuss that. mysticism or like yeah. cast a spell on him or nothing. <laughs> yeah, you cash. Mm -hmm. You cash all your paychecks. Like it's yeah. You're not. You're not Alan Moore. You wouldn't. You wouldn't. No. Uh, I know. Tell Sebastian Bach that. No. <laughs> No, he's not allowed back in the store. I, I guess that's my why I, I guess that's why I went cosplay is because if I'm fooling Sebastian Bach, regardless of how many times yeah, I tell him it's not the case. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's a hard part to set, Sebastian. I fooled Sebastian Bach. I'm gonna get that T-shirt made. I fooled Sebastian Bach, and then I'm gonna post it so he's like, "What is that?" <laughs> <laughs> Your question, sir. Hey guys, love the show. Thank um, you. Big fan. Thanks. Uh, really obscure shirt you're wearing too. What's up? Obscure shirt you're wearing. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit way back in the day. Um, is there anything, like seeing y'all and just randomly, is there anything that you know, was not on comic book man that uh, you guys could put, they could put on because of the production or whatever that you missed, it was an episode or something like that or an instance that they could do with Brian probably cursing out somebody or something. Oh yeah, like that. <laughs> pretty, pretty, much, yeah. Pretty, pretty much everything you say doesn't make it. Is it yeah, probably like 95% of the stuff. 95%? Yeah, a lot of, because I say a lot of stuff. Somebody sent me this. This is pretty funny. Some uh, I know someone at AMC who who sent this note. This was like a um, this was a network note uh, because you know they submit episodes to the network. Yeah, it's come to this. Um, <laughs> Getting old, man. Yeah. Get great um, hair, and beard. Too. Is your font like eight, like at like eighty? No, it's not like Walt's. Too. Like Walt has like one letter per screen. <laughs> yeah. He's like, swiping so he can read it. His, his eyes are terrible. Did you go to Warby Park, Warby Parker, and say I want the the glasses that Alan Moore wears? <laughs> does he? Uh, does he wear glasses? Uh, he's older than you, so I'm assuming yes. Okay, so this was somebody. This is what I like. Actually, this is like one of my favorite parts of stuff like this, where some executive at AMC watches everything, the stuff that they put in that they think is palatable, and then they give notes on it. And this was a note where they said, even with Bry's dry wit, it's hard to get behind a joke about a pedophile uncle with an erection. <laughs> <laughs> we, we prefer to lose this. <laughs> and it's out of context, so I can, of course I can't remember the joke, so I don't know what they're talking about, but it made me laugh when I read it. <laughs> But some guys like, are they out of their minds? Why does he say this shit? Why do you say this shit? I don't know, because they give me money to say it. Yeah, yeah. Right. I just use some of it. it. It's stuff I would say anyway, I guess. But it's fun. It's fun to make fun of them. It really is. Like, you should try it. Like, come down to the booth afterwards and just take a stab at it. It's really easy and fun. Anything? <laughs> is that, you, you sound like you live for it. I mean, I have nothing else to live for. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know what my life is. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Andy? This oh, back again. Question. What's up? Double dipping. Uh, <laughs> Andy, did we scare the question out of you? <laughs> if you threw well, a yeah, friend, I would pay money. Um, <laughs> hey, uh, 
Have you ever gone over here to be like in, in the audience for like uh, Kevin Smith's uh, Hollywood Babylon before? Um, have we ever been in Kevin Smith's audience before? Like for Hollywood Babylon. Yes. Yes, we have. Oh, just last Friday night. Yeah, a couple of days. Yeah, just this, this past Friday and uh, a couple years too, right? That can be a real question. <laughs> <laughs> Did you forget the question and you're like, shit, what am I going to say? Uh, <laughs> I have another question. Do you guys know Kevin Smith? <laughs> yeah, seriously. Was, I, I, I had something to say about NAMLA, but. How can I, how can I bring someone interesting into this conversation? I hey, remember have you ever well, said we all came out last year and Kevin was here. He was like, hey man, you guys are coming to the show tonight, right? We're like, yeah, 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 we're gonna come. And then, then he was at the show, he was like, hey, the comic book men are here. And, and we like, weren't, we, but we, we weren't. didn't go. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't there. And, uh, it's I, all the way in West Hollywood. It's kind of annoying to get there from here. I fell yeah, asleep. All the way. <laughs> it's true. Like, I lived in LA for a while, and I know, like, all the, like, seven miles is like, all the way. Like, if you live in West Hollywood and someone's like, in Santa Monica, like, hey, come down and visit. I'd be like, no way. <laughs> like, no way am I driving 10 miles to see you. <laughs> but yeah, it would, yeah, it would take forever. Yeah, it's awful. I'm not good enough friends with anyone to do that. <laughs> would, um, you, you lived here before. I lived here before. Would you ever come back? Like, say, uh, they had to, like, they wanted to do, like, a comic book man in, like, L.A.? Oh, yeah, because the East Coast one. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, or kind of, they don't even, they don't play... The, the show more than like they play it twice maybe and then it disappears. Right. It's like remember those DVDs that you could rent and then like Yeah, Divix. It was called Divix. They yeah, wouldn't stop playing after two days, yeah. Right. That's kinda like the comic book in episodes. <laughs> Unless you live in South America where like a friend of mine was in Argentina and he's like they had a marathon where like six episodes in a row and he's like taking pictures of like the subtitles are in Spanish and shit. I don't know why we can't get the kind of love in our own country <laughs> from AMC, but I think maybe they forgot about us. Like, they're like, Walking Dead, Talking Dead, Walking Dead, and then they're like, holy shit, that show is still on the air? Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're the Milton of unscripted television. Yeah. It's great. Like, I thought we canceled that shit three years ago. Yeah. Like, I don't know, they just keep coming back. Would you come back, though? I, I just say you took Would I come back? And you had, to, you had to move to L.A. Okay, so it's in such demand that I have to now move to L.A. Yeah. And, and it's you guys? And Walt lives here, or, or is it like a new crew? Not just you. How the hell would It's Walt just me? I'm carrying the whole show? Yeah, well, let's say, let's say it's not common, but just like your, your career takes off. And they want, you know, you pick up a star or something. Nah. No, you want to come nah. back? All the way here? Nah. <laughs> no. Well, maybe. He's like, hey, wait a minute, I remember, yeah. the, I remember the question. Brian, what's the number of your pedophile aunt uncle? <laughs> He's uh, not giving that out. <laughs> is this okay? He's making all these, like... Sex crimes against kids jokes? It's supposed to be a PG-13 situation. What do you guys like? Because you guys aren't laughing at anything. You are a stoic lad. Yeah. You really are. Straight-faced. And I just Plum, found, almost. I just found something out. Uh, we did have a West Coast stash out in Westwood on the UCLA campus, and uh, Brian ran it for a couple years. But I just found out Kevin wanted Mike to move out and run it. Can you imagine Mike, like, Randy Newman? Like, I love yeah, LA. Lady, like, cruising around. We love him. Yeah. yeah. Like, driving a convertible. Like, Hair yeah. blowing in the wind. Yeah, take sunglasses. <laughs> uh, no, I didn't. No, I, Did I, you even consider it for a second? I, I considered it, but we had just purchased the house and you uh, sell I can't house? afford it. Yeah, but, you know, sell it at a loss? No way, man. And besides, I'm, I'm a Jersey boy, so I. Me, can you imagine me out here? It's, no. it's, it's hard to live on the East Coast and we'll move here. It's like, because nobody, you know, you, if you live out here, you, you know, nobody can drive in the goddamn rain. Like, the second it starts raining a little bit, people seem to not really know what to do. And people are super patient when they'll sit on the 101 forever. And like, nobody's losing their shit like everyone does in New Jersey. All right, do you get this a lot though? We meet a lot of fans like, oh man, when you shoot the show like LA? And I'm like, no way, man. You, you can imagine joking around like that at a shop in LA. Like they, they wouldn't, they wouldn't, they, don't, they wouldn't get it. Yeah, oh, you think it's too literal? I, I just think it's, uh, you know, that there is like, guys are so mean to each other. And they're like, no, we talk about these, man. He's close love. It's a, it's a Jersey thing. Yeah, there you go. Are you from Jersey or Woodbridge? <laughs> Nicer than Jersey people. He called you a dick and you sat there. <laughs> Thank you very much. Like a dick. <laughs> Your question, sir. Like a complete dick. Your question, sir. Hey, guys. 
Um, so you had a lot of celebrity guests, some really cool people, especially stars of 70s and 80s. And, um, we have we have like one of the most obscure people this season that everyone's gonna be like, seriously? Yeah. <laughs> I thought that Walt, dude was Walt, dead. Walt wanted the guy on. Walt wanted this guy on. Uh, are we gonna yeah. say his yeah. name? Yeah, yeah. My, my name's Michael Gregg. Michael he Greg. played Billy Batson in the old yeah. uh, 70s live action Shazam. <laughs> Which is anyone? Yeah. Anyone? Yeah. Yeah, oh, first time you thought of him in like since 1974, right? Yeah. Just well, for, he's just a haberdasher now, so you can hit him. Just for you younger kids to, to let you know what it's about, it's about an old man who has an RV and he drives around like a young boy and they have an indeterminate relationship. <laughs> uh, and they sort of like, they don't even like fight crime, they sort of like solve like mundane problems. They're like, Billy needs to do the right thing morally. And then for some reason this old dude has to instruct him on something like any five-year-old would be able to like process and put together. And the problems are like really it. horrible. It's like Jimmy's got a zip, so he runs away because Or like he's camping and like his canoe got away, so he's like, How am I gonna get down the river? Like, right. like dopey shit. But the best part is the old man and him like when the when the lights go down and the shoes are drawn. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows what's going on? <laughs> So. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, that, that guy Michael Graham played Shazam. He's a, he, I friended him on Facebook, and uh, he's uh, every every post is like, uh, you might want to watch Comic Book Man this season. Like, I can't say why. Like, Who was that? Yeah, Michael, Michael Graham. Yeah, it's like you might you might you might have a big surprise. It's all twenty six of his followers, <laughs> yeah. twenty five of which are accounts that he started himself to follow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And one and and he's, he's, really nice nice friend, right? he's a really nice guy. He's but. a great guy. God bless you. But yeah, it's very obscure. What was your question? <laughs> <laughs> did you have one? Uh, yeah, yeah, I did. Um, well, <laughs> for us Tom Steve Dick fans, I'm not saying it would be easy, but could you get AMC to throw their weight into scoring a reunion between Mike Zapsick and Ultron himself, James Spade? Oh, that would be awesome. Oh. I would, I, are you kidding? I've said it like many celebrity times. boxing. No, I would not box him. You can you know, go however it goes down, it's fine with me. I just want to Like that it. Turkish wrestling where they keep like reaching into each other's like underpants to, to <laughs> grab them. It's like a prune pit or something. Like they hold a prune pit in their butt and like the other guy has to try to grab it out. Yeah, look it up. It's called Maybe I just Brian Johnson and his fetish porn, folks. Maybe I just do that. What is that five mean? Five minutes? Yeah. Who's next? Uh, somebody else? You better tell I us. I have no it. respect for somebody else. Um, <laughs> you have no respect for yourself, let yeah. alone somebody yeah. else. What chance do they have if I don't even respect myself? <laughs> yeah, their their panel at the MC coming for a surprise appearance. I don't think so. I don't. Unless the panel is the MC, they can go screw themselves. Uh, he's referring to a sport called Turkish oil wrestling. If you want to look it up, it's a real thing. Yeah, Turkish oil. Yeah, no, no I Turkish oil wrestling. Oh, I've heard Mike. Will you do that? Yeah. Uh, no, absolutely <laughs> not. Because uh, James Spader. Um, for, for those who don't understand the reference, um, and Mike wants to because he lettered in Turkish oil wrestling yeah. in high school. <laughs> yeah, so he, made the, he made the varsity team. <laughs> yes, I don't think it's fair to James. So, but uh, James Spader and I, um, he was doing a movie up in Poughkeepsie when I was going to school up there, and I stole a bottle of champagne from him because I was drunk. And that's what drunks do. It's like, all right, cool. I found a bottle of champagne in the back seat of this guy's car. It's mine. And um, he found out. He's like, son of a bitch. We, we got into a bit of a tiff, and I, I was, uh, I was completely in the wrong. But for years, I was like, James Spader sucks. What a jerk. Uh, you stole his champagne. Tell the rest no of the story. He, he popped the bottle. He's like, Happy New Year. He kissed <laughs> James Spader on the back. <laughs> that's why James Spader is pissed to this day. Yeah. Right? So but, I'm, Ultron hates you, though. Um, I doubt he even remembers me, but yeah, I owe James Spader a bottle of, of uh, and it was Cook champagne, so, and you kind of serves that. Don't you feel that like when you're making amends and shit, isn't that one of those things that you should probably send James Spader a bottle of champagne? Yeah, I should send, I should give him, but, but if I send it to him and it, it's got to go through, I've seen what people drop off for cat. It's, it's not so. about Spader getting it, it's about you doing it. But I will, and yeah, I have it. said on multiple occasions, I will buy James Spader a bottle of Dom Two seconds ago, he's like, I'll fight James Spader. Now he's like, I'm yeah. gonna buy James Spader. No, 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 no. When they oh, do I'm the sorry, playback, so I never said I would fight James Spader. I said I'm I'm James Spader. Look at that proof it. <laughs> he probably lives down the street. Where in hell they go, bro? He probably lives down the street. You, you should, you should go he's probably got guard dogs around his house, man. And I'm not climbing a fence. You should go make good on that. 
Just throw the bottle over the fence. Chuck it over. It was also like, that was James Spader in like less than zero. Right. That's what you like. Like movies like that, that was awesome. Yeah. No, it was James Spader in Mannequin Days. Uh, so, yeah, that was the bad news. What's up? Why don't we all, yeah. Who's got a bus? Let's go. <laughs> yeah, why don't you, yeah, why don't you give Ming the bag of prunes to stick up his coolie and he's like, I got him. Yeah, just give, like, don't send him the champagne. Send him a bag of prunes. That's just right on the side, like, Sacco prunes. And, and then write, like, I'm coming for you, James Spader. And he'll be like, what's this? <laughs> like, what the hell does not this just, mean? Not just what is this, but, like, who's this? Constipation? What is this supposed to mean? It would drive James Spader out of his goddamn mind. Your question, sir. Um, would you guys ever consider releasing, um, your seasons like on Blu-ray or DVD or something like that? You mean illegally? Would we consider it? Because we have however, absolutely however. no legal uh, right to do so. Absolutely. Right. Just talk to Ming afterwards and he'll, he'll pirate you a couple of copies. <laughs> here's, a, here's a little lesson in, in TV. You have no rights. You don't get any money for anything aside from the initial, like, uh, the initial, like, you know, doing it. Yeah. Yeah, there's like no residuals, nothing like that. So. Oh, I know, right? You wanna, well, thank you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, like, what's that, change.org? Yeah. Let's petition AMC. Okay. To give us money for, like, I don't know, I'm not so sure about the hour. I, I, again, we don't do the programming or, or, or yeah, make no. the DVDs. Like, if, 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 if they were like, hey, whatever you want to do, do it, then I would, like, name stuff like that, but they really don't care what we say. Are you at saying all? we're the number one panel here? I think so. Uh, yeah. Look at her showing her support. I, I absolutely do not recognize your authority. <laughs> Why don't people do the wave anymore? Do they still do that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, do they, they do. do. Sure. Do kids ever do the wave? Yeah. Uh, how many people are familiar with the phrase, kiss my grits? <laughs> A lot, right? Wow. All right. I'm telling you, if you kids bring it back, it'll be cool again. <laughs> and also, you know what else I want to bring back? The word honky. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Man. Shut up, honky. Yeah. That feels good. I like that. <laughs> it's awesome. Not enough. It was like the shit in the 70s, and yeah. then it sort of like trailed off. Yes. Bring that back too. Start that up in school. <laughs> yeah, hashtag honky. Yeah. <laughs> Ask away. When Jason comes into the shop, do you guys do any work? Oh yeah, because you know you ignore. We ignore the hell out of him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he does like to try to take things from the store without paying for them, which I yeah, mean, it's called stealing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but his defense is, my name is on the on the store, the name of the store. That's and I tell him that Kevin owns your ass, so take it up with the big boss. And there are no more questions. Yeah, but he'll literally go through like, I'm Walt, send me, I want this, like, mail that to me, mail that to me, and Walt's like, yeah, and then he'll leave. But our saving grace is that he's got the attention span of, like, a flea, so when it doesn't show up at his house, he's none the wiser. <laughs> when, when, uh, when we were in Lexington, like, Muse has this, um, Lego obsession, so he yeah. buys tons of Legos. He buys all of them. His wife not too but, keen on the idea. Yeah, she, like, his wife is, like, idiot. Like, we're trying to do a renovation on the kitchen, stop spending money on Legos. So he goes to Lexington, he secretly buys all these Legos and thinks he's getting away with it until he, just, he figures out that Ming has, because he photographs everything, has taken a picture of him with his Legos, posted, his wife sees it, calls him, she's like, what are we going to build the fucking kitchen out of Legos? <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, yeah, you so could. he was like busted, cold and shit, it was so funny. He was so <laughs> mad at me. And then so he mad. comes out and he's like, Ming, what the fuck are you doing to me? He was For so God's sake. He was so you're, mad at me. You're C-blocking me, what the hell? He's buying it. He's no, the kids. She knows. No, that's oh, not. Is married oh, no, 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 she no, knows. no, no, no. I, do, you, do you ever get that? People are come, always come up and say, hey, man, his music, how's he doing? How's he doing? Like, you know, they're afraid of his health or whatever. Yeah. I'm like, bitch, if he has a Tesla and a house in the hills now, yeah. like, he's doing just, he's doing way better than I am. So, like, why'd you worry about me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. I'm doing Nobody good. Cares. I don't have a. Nobody cares. That's why they don't ask him. But it's just like they think he's like destitute or something. Like, but you're the bitch that's lost your car in, in LA, man. He's doing just fine. Yeah. Well, you don't have the, the history. Say. No, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. true. That's true. Yeah, with, with issues that could kill you. Good point. No. You guys want to talk about heroin addiction? <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, it would be like an after school special where they're like, oh my god, Johnny's doing heroin in the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. anything else? <laughs> there has to be one more question, a good closer. No one. Wow. You have a question. You got a good one? No, you're scared? You better be. Have we started planning out the Christmas episode? Yes, and it's going to be unlike any other one that came before it, which could be good or bad, I'm not sure. Um, and we just did a Halloween special uh, where it's not just audio, we did video, and Walt's probably going to be annoyed that I, that I mentioned this, but we, we put a green screen behind us, so there's like all this green screen projection of like images and shit, and it's uh, me, Walt, and Hugh and Father Lance, our, our Tom ZB Town Exorcist is there. Um, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, we're gonna put it on the website, you know, so people can watch it. I don't understand people that watch podcasts because it's, a lot of times it's just guys sitting, like sitting. In fact, I don't know why you're watching us right now. <laughs> now that I think about it, <laughs> but like watching a podcast takes so much more time. But like, like Rogan does it, Hardy Hampy, like a lot of people do it. I don't, I don't get it though. That's not the medium, right? That's TV. Yeah, but you know, we're, we're in a world where people watch uh, people play video games. For, for you guys do that? You watch other people play video games? Yeah. <laughs> this, this is a whole South Park thing, right? I, yeah. I, I don't get it. Bob uh, Brian, you know, Michelle Lady? You know, little here. kids are making fun of you, right? Have you seen that South Park episode? As cool as you guys think you are, there's like, our second graders are like, they're such dorks. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. We're yeah. talking about you. <laughs> This is awesome. This young lady over here. Yeah, we're about to get whacked. Yeah, out, so. she brought backup. Yeah. But she's like, and who's the backup? Us. <laughs> Our, the dancing queen back know. there. You can't come at somebody like dancing shit <laughs> and expect them to. Yeah. All right. Dance off. Dance off. Yeah, dance off. Dance off. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you.